today. So today we will be continuing our orientation series on this channel. So before we start, I would like to remind everybody to click subscribe and to comment down below whatever your uh, questions are because as soon as I get online, I will uh, try to respond to these questions and hopefully we can have a fruitful discussion. So the second part of our online uh, orientation is an orientation on online safety. Okay. So when we say online security or online safety, what does it entail? So it entails financial security, logins and passwords, computers security, protection of data, protection of financial transactions, protection against search transactions, and security so we want to have security online we that we just don't want to use the internet and then lose something important so as much as possible we must stay safe online stay secure online so how we do how do we do that Listen and focus on this discussion. Never disclose personal information such as full name, home address, phone number, social security number or ID numbers, passwords, Names of family members, credit card numbers, debit card numbers, ATM numbers, bank accounts, and your photographs. Why? Say say natin na. Full name. Some of us will use alter accounts, alternate names. Why? Because when you use your name, all People can see you online. When you put your address, even those that have bad intentions can know where you are. So as much as possible, do not be too specific. I live in block 1, block 2, phase 1, wala diri, wala dito, subdivision Roja City, do not be too accurate like that. Do not post your phone number online. Some of us will use Facebook and then post our phone numbers in order to attract more people to text us. But that's not good. Why? Because when you post your phone number, people can text or call you anytime, anywhere. And Tendency is they will prank on you. They will play pranks on you. ID numbers. Do not, never, never, never post ID numbers. Why? Because they can falsify your IDs. Do not share passwords even with your family members, even with your friends, even with your lovers. Why? Passwords especially email address passwords, can be used to access your other accounts in the internet. So never give it up. Names of family members do not share their names if they do not consent to it, especially underage people. Credit card numbers, this one. Too many of us um, recklessly share information such as this, ATM numbers. And that is never a good sign. Photograph can be shared. 
but be mindful of what kinds of pictures you share online because once you post a picture it can never be deleted once you show something online you are never sure where it goes governments can use your pictures corporate actors can use your pictures and illegal criminals can use your pictures for illegal transactions so if you post all of this online that's a problem personal safety warning signs how do you know that there is something wrong in social media what does online yelling look like if somebody chats you and use all cups he or she is yelling what should you do if someone is yelling at you it's up to you should you report it to the police or to the barangay or should you deal with it what is a cyber bully who are cyber bullies be mindful of them what should you do if you are bullied online we have laws regarding cyber bullying medyo mahal pa nga yung multa sa cyber bullying kaysa sa pumatay ka ng tao ngayon eh. what should you do if someone sends you explicit materials we have anti-pornography laws in the Philippines. So be mindful of sharing your uh, videos, of sharing explicit videos. Safeguard against financial risk. If purchasing something online, make sure that the site is secure. How do we know that a site or a website is secure? The URL begins with HTTPS colon. My S po, hindi lang HTTP. Ba yung meaning ng HTTP? Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Pag may S, Hypertext Transfer Protocol secured. May lock icon yan. Okay? There is a lock icon displayed and it is interactive, not just a graphic image. And at the bottom of the website, if you scroll it down, there is a certification. There are logos of certifying companies. Okay? Security companies that certify that this website is secure. Okay? So if you use your ATM card, always look for the Visa or MasterCard logon.
in the following days. So comment down below for whatever uh, topics that you want to be clarified on and have a good day. Stay safe. Always wear your mask.